Hi everybody, welcome to my Armour Reforger community server and if you're wondering about the odd format of this video it's because I'm recording it on my mobile phone because I wanted to make a video specifically for Xbox and hopefully in the future PlayStation console users who want to have a community server so you can add custom mods and custom game modes but don't have a laptop or PC on which to uh, edit that server so this is a nitrado server which you're probably going to be going on if you're if you're on a console and we're going to go through how to change the settings so that you're going to have access to the game master's use mode when you get onto your server because that's the way you can spawn in modded vehicles and weapons um, i've put together a simple package of simple mods that you're going to put onto your server straight away so you can get it started with some some nice simple mods and then i'm going to show you how to use the armor reforger online workshop to add different mods as well so here we go so we're in the kind of the, the dashboard of the server here so the first thing we want to do is just go to the settings so if you tap in the top right hand corner and then go to settings and go to general that will jump us to there now you'll probably notice that i'm using the browser to to edit rather than using nitrado's app and that's because sometimes the app can be a little bit difficult to log into i find i mean you can always use the app now first things first obviously you want to give your server a name um, not too common, something that you can put into the search box on the community section in the uh, Armour Reforger um, server browser, so you'll find it. And then what's very important is that we add an admin password. Server password, you know, that only really matters if it's going to be a private server for you and your friends. But the admin password, this is the thing that gives you access to the Game Master menu when you're actually on your server in-game. So give yourself an admin password. Um, and that means that when you get into the game, what you do is you bring up the chat box. So on PC, you just press enter. Um, on uh, Xbox, you press the left, right shoulder button, left um, top shoulder button, which is LB. And then you press Y, the chat box will come up. And then you need to enter um, a, um, a hash and then login in lowercase space and then your password. And then on PC, you press enter. On Xbox, you press LB and Y again. And that will close the chat box and when you go into the pause menu you'll see you have access to the game master because at the moment um, especially on conflict uh, servers the way that you spawn in things like the helicopter or the different vehicles or different groups um, or armory crates with the different weapons in the way that you do that is via game master so someone when you're playing a game has to be the admin going around and spawning in helicopters for people to use but that's quite cool because you can give for example the americans bmps to even up the armored warfare a little bit better on your server too so once you've got those we can now go in and it's because it's worth doing and add some mods so what you want to do is you want to um, go to settings and then tap on config files and that will take you there now i'm already there in a different window on my phone so let's go there and this is the config file um, the config.json file so this is how we're going to control how our server what it loads when it starts kind of thing now the first thing you want to do see in the bottom left hand corner it says it says download you want to download a copy of this that way if things go wrong and your server for, for some reason won't start again you can re-upload that or you can copy and paste the contents over the top of your existing one and that will mean your server will then start again because it's very easy to make mistakes when you're copying and pasting and editing things on your mobile phone or your um, tablet because we're using uh, touch controls, aren't we? So as we scroll down, you'll see things like there's the name of the server, there's the supported client types, platform PC, platform Xbox Live. I'll put a link in the description below the video to Bohemian Interactive's official wiki um, that tells you how to... Um, edit this file explains what all the settings mean in, in this config file but the bit we're interested in is that one in the middle right there where it says um, mods you see there now that is where we're going to copy and paste our list of mods to your one might look a little bit different they might be closer together the, the square brackets but what we're going to do is we're going to go over to my github repository Again, I'll put a link to this in the description below the video. And in this GitHub repository, I've done a list of nice, simple mods that will you know, enhance any server. So we've got better vehicles. So they're the trucks and the Jeeps, like the sandbags and the extra armor on. We've got um, River Optics, um, M4A1, and the Mark 18 mod as well with its dependencies. Um, if you're new to this, what happens is certain mods require other mods to also be loaded in order to work. 
So, you know, RiverX's um, M4A1 mod needs um, the uh, mod, the, op the attachment compatibility mod, um, and it needs things like the, the flip optics mods as well. Um, we've also got the laser pointer and the flare gun. There's the Blackhawk uh, switchable opt optics. We've got the G36 mod as well. That adds a group of assault rifles to the game. Real fun to use. Better tracers make the game look better, especially at night. Bloodlust and where am I? So you know where you are on the map. So it's a nice list of simple mods that do work. So we need to copy and paste these. So this is where you've got to be careful. So press and hold your finger on the screen. And then we just want to drag up to the top, to that top bracket there. And then we want to drag this one down to the bottom there. And then we just want to tap the copy. See at the top left end of the screen? We'll copy that. Then we go back to our server. And then we'll see right in the middle where the cursor is flashing right there. Tap there. And we're just going to paste those mods in. Now what I'm looking for now is I'm looking to make sure I haven't copied and pasted them over the top of the wrong thing. So see where it says mods. And then we've got the inverted comma, then the colon, then the opening square bracket. We're just going to scroll down. We want to make sure that after all the mods, there is a closing square bracket. This is um, a JSON file. And a lot of the syntax, the way that you write these, the, the arguments, the commands, if you like, they always have um, opening and closing brackets around them. So there we can see by the cursor that you've got the uh, square bracket with a comma next to it, um, which means that should be OK. So if I wanted to uh, put these mods on my server now, we just tap Save Changes. And then in the top right hand corner, you see the little green icon with the like the uh, the round arrow. Tap that, restart, and those mods would be available when we start. Now there are a few bugs at the moment with Xboxes, um, but that should be sorted out hopefully by the time you come to watch this video. So that's all well and good, but you may be saying, okay, Rob, but I want to add some different mods to my server. So how do I do that? So this format you can see in the middle of the screen now is basically how we add different mods so you've got the mod id that's the critical thing that's the complicated bit that's the bit that tells the game to load in the zombies mod or um, a different weapon mod and the name that's something we write in just so that we know what that mod id is and then the version um, you could probably see the two little inverted commas close together on the right now that just says use the latest version of the mod certain circumstances you may well want to use an older version of the mod so the first thing we need to do if we want to add a new mod is to is to basically have a template in here that has this particular uh, format. Now, when you're trying to edit inside the, um, the browser, um, especially in Nitrado, you can't really copy and paste stuff from within here. You can paste stuff, but you can't copy stuff. So what I've done is I've created a little blank template on my GitHub repository too that you can paste in. So if we go back to the GitHub repository, if we go to the top, click on the three dots and click on go to file. And you want to go to blank mod entry. See that one there? So you tap on that one. And this one is just a copy of that top entry. What that means is we can just press and hold our finger on the screen. We can go to the top squiggly bracket, go to the bottom squiggly bracket, do we just want to go to the bottom screen bracket? There we go. And we can copy that. And then we can go back to our server config. And we can tap on the screen there. Let's put a bit of spaces in. Tap there. And we can just paste that in. So in effect, all we've done is we've just created a duplicate of the mod below. But that now gives us the ability to paste in a mod ID over the top of this one. So what we're going to do, we're just going to Get rid of that. We're just going to put a space in so it makes it a little bit easier for us to do. And now what we're going to do, we're going to go to the Armour Reforger Online Workshop. Again, I'll put a link to this in the description below this video. So let's have a look at the uh, mods with the most subscribers. Where am I? Bloodlust. Better hit effects. That's better traces. We've got that. The Colt 3x20. So th that's quite a cool mod. What that does is that adds a optic to the M16. Now, what we're looking, as we scroll down, we're making sure there are no dependencies that we'd also have to add. Certain mods need other mods, as I've said before, to work. This one doesn't, so we can just um, load it up. And then we're looking for the ID. See the ID there? So we press and hold our finger on the button on the screen, so we can copy that. And we know the name. We're going to call it, what's the Colt 3X20. 
So now we can go back to our server config file and then in that space, we can now paste that in. Let's get rid of those spaces there. Let's tap down here very carefully. So we call it Colt M16 scope. There we go. Leave the version as it is. We've got the opening curly bracket there on the left. Nothing else that shouldn't be there. So we would tap on save changes, tap on restart, top right hand corner, the, the green box with the, with the circular arrow, restart our server. And then when we go back into our server, when you pick up an M16, it'll have the Colt scope on. So whether you actually like that mod, I don't know. I've just put it in there as an example because sometimes an iron sights M16 can be, can be quite cool. So there we go, that's how you do it. Now, when you start doing this, I would highly recommend that you only add the odd mod at a time, and then go in and check that the server's working and there aren't any um, clashes between the mods. For example, at the moment, there's a clash between the Black Hawk helicopter mod and the landmine mod that I've discovered anyway. And when I, if you have both of those mods loaded on your server, what happens is when you try and uh, spawn in a Black Hawk, a landmine spawns in instead of it. It's a bit of a pain. So don't try and, sp and add a load of servers to load of mods, sorry, to your server at once because you'll never be able to fault find. You won't know where the problem is. Add a few, check they work on your server and then restart it and then add another 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 one or two and keep going like that um, and there we go and the kind of the feedback we have at the moment probably around xbox and pc compatibility when it comes to mods is that if, if you've got a server that's, that's cross play and you want xbox players to play on it you probably want to keep the mods down you know don't go too mad um, avoid hms uh, hmas vampire at the moment that crushes servers um, and just keep the bare minimum you want to have a have a fun server Remember, we're at very early days with Armour Reforger and Multiplay. Um, this is an amazing title that we are getting on console, on Xbox, hopefully PlayStation soon. But we are all beta testers for this. We're all working towards Armour 4. So when there are things that go wrong, things that don't work, make sure you go over to the Behemoth Interactive um, Feedback Tracker and tell them what's going on because they do change things. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description below this video as well. And just enjoy the fact that we are growing, we are helping, we are part of the development team when you're working on Armour Reforger. Okay, that's enough from me. If you found the video useful, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.